Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Welcome to another class of uh, the types of reactions part 2. In my previous class, I explained four types of reactions that is addition, decompositions, uh, combustions, and substitution or displacement reaction. In this video or tutorial, I will explain about two special types, it's actually non redox type of reactions that is uh, neutralization and precipitation. And in this tutorial also two things should be discussed but I was thinking to upload another video of this special thing which is tolerant reagent. But in this video I shall explain about the neutralization reaction and precipitation reaction. But before going to explain it we need to know that one keywords of this topic is spectator ions. This spectator ions it means that I mean as we know that this is non-redox so this type of reactions uh, it means that there will not have any sort of electron transfer like in case of redox reaction what's going on the electrons is accepting and releasing by the elements and that is why it's called redox reduction and oxidation but as it is non redox reaction so no electron will transfer so why and that is why this is called non redox reaction and especially in case of neutralization and precipitation reaction so do you know what is neutralization of course i think you know that acid and base when they will react they'll produce salt and water which is very well known and you know previous years of your education life you definitely heard about it you studied about it neutralization reaction that acid and base react they will produce salt and water so as we know it a little bit about it earlier so acid and base is producing salt and water that is the thing but what is inside think about something in case of acid if i say very well known acid about hydrochloric acid in aqueous solution and in base like sodium hydroxide another very well known solution that will produce sodium chloride and water right so sodium chloride and water is the production now you think what's going on inside what's going on so this hydrogen is H plus that is in aqueous solution and this chloride is also aqueous solution so these hydrogen ion and chloride ion will be a polar because as we know that to, as we know that there is a sort of electronegativity here and also in this case what's going on sodium plus and hydroxyl minus will be reacting now what is going on these hydrogen plus will attract to this hydroxyl and this sodium plus will attract this chlorine right and that is why sodium chloride and water is producing now you think about water here what's going on like H plus and OH minus these two is producing a different type of thing but here this sodium plus and chloride ion remains same so actually in the neutralization reaction the main reaction is this H plus aqueous is reacting with hydroxyl aqueous and produce water and this is the main reaction and that is why all cases in all neutralization reaction these are exothermic reaction and you know there are some sort of like um, constant value a relevantly constant value in case of neutralization reaction and that is called neutralization reaction enthalpy which is actually del H is equal minus 57.62 kilojoule per mole and that is why in a question paper or in an exam you might have some, seen some questions like like what type of reactions is neutralization reactions and why this enthalpy remains same in almost all cases because the reaction is going on 
within these only but these chloride and sodium they are spectator ion because here no electrons is transferring now nobody is like accepting or releasing electrons they are just changing their their partners sodium was the partner with sodium hydroxide hydroxide and chloride is the partner with proton and then they just change each other and then sodium and chloride produce salt which is mass production of neutralization reaction by water so water is forming with the reactions with proton and hydroxide and thus water is producing and that is why the single reactions that we can say that this is the spectator ions and that is why the neutralizations enthalpy in most neutralizations reactions are almost same and which is nearly 57.62 kJ per mole but in case of if this acid is very strong and this base is very strong in case of strong acid and base the neutralization this enthalpy will definitely vary or in case of weak acid like organic acid you know if it is like ethan weak acid then there should have some changes in case of this enthalpy but is it's around like this 57 plus minus so that is why these questions may have in your question paper that why the neutralization's enthalpy is mostly similar in case of all neutralization reaction because in all neutralization reaction the mass product is water salt will be produced but that is the part of acid and base now i just asking you that how much how much of i mean <clears throat> reaction you can do in case of acid and balance i hope you understand that this should be the del h which is 57 point uh, 6 to almost 57.62 kJ per mole now you think that how much reactions we can say that in case of acid if it is phosphoric acid H3PO4 if it is nitric acid HNO3 if it is sulfuric acid H2SO4 or if it is like okay carbonic acid H2CO3 so if I take for example of this acid and in case of base suppose I'm just taking about magnesium oxide think about here calcium hydroxide think about here zinc hydroxide think about here sodium hydroxide then you see these are all base and these are all acids so now this type of like your you're understanding that do you know that what is the salt and water is producing I'm just telling you that please pause the video and do it and I'm doing it at the time that we'll be doing that is it is H3PO4 then we can divide it into positive and negative ions with hydrogen and phosphate magnesium and oxygen now the thing one thing this magnesium is reacting with phosphate so it will definitely produce magnesium phosphate and the formula of magnesium phosphate do you know that is about magnesium is 2 and phosphate is 3 so it would be Mg3PO4 whole 2 so I hope you understand this is magnesium phosphate the formula and you see there is Mg3 so there should be 3 as we need to make it balance and phosphate this phosphate radicals is 2 so we need to make it 2 now we need to count that hydrogen and hydroxyl ions so or oxygen you see there are 3 oxygens and 6 hydrogen so together it will produce three molecules of water because we have to maintain the chemical balance in the reactions so in the reactions we see that magnesium phosphate and water will be produced but you see how the chemical balance is going on so i need to i need to put a three because of here is producing six hydrogen and three oxygen like this think about it here calcium is positive, hydrogen positive, nitrate and hydroxyl is negative. Now calcium will go with nitrate. So now calcium nitrate would be like this because the valency of calcium is 2 and the nitrate is 1. I hope you have already seen my videos on like chemical formula and compounds. On that video I explained how to determine the formula of these compounds 
So as it is nitrate 2, it must be 2 here. And you see 2 hydrogen and there are 2 hydrogen. It's together. So 2 water will be produced. As because there are 2 hydrogen and 2 hydrogen together, 4. So they will produce water, 2 molecules of water. Like this, zinc and sulfate simply they produce zinc sulfate as because the valency of zinc and sulfate are 2. So same. Now we have 2 and 2 hydrogen that will produce 2 molecules of water. And similarly, sodium is reacting with carbonate and they will produce sodium carbonate. Now we have seen that is 2 nitrate sodium, so that will be 2 and then hydrogen 2 here too. So together they will produce 2 molecules of water. Now we'll think simply that did you write it or if you write it down, then, then just make it a similar as between that what is the reactant and the product. And in case of these reactions, you must know that you have to make a balance in case of reactant and product. You just multiply with the valid numbers of right side and left side and just count that all the atoms number in case of reactant and product are same. So you are successful. In case of neutralization reaction, I'm just giving you some examples. I hope that you can do it. And of course, you're much better than me. These people are watching right now. I know that you know more reactions. I'm just giving you some examples so that you can have some concentrations to do it next level. Think about precipitation reaction. Well, but do you know that what is spectator ion? The spectator ions means that those ions that do not transfer any electrons and they do not change. They are the spectator ion. That means they are only the viewers. Okay, just watching what's going on and after the reactions they are same. So that is spectator. And now precipitation. In case of precipitation reaction, suppose this is sodium chloride aqueous and silver nitrate aqueous solution. And then what will be the production? What? The production is sodium nitrate is again aqueous but but this silver chloride HCl actually the silver chloride is solid and then they will and these these compound will settle in the bottom of the reaction part and that will not dissolve in the liquid because all are in an aqueous solutions so aqueous form so they will not dissolve they will not react they will not dissolve with the liquid and they will they will precipitate so precipitation means precipitation means when reaction will be going on suppose it was like sodium chloride solutions and together like silver nitrate solution is being mixed up and after reactions you can see that some sort of like white as a silver is a white type of like precipitations in the bottom in the bottom of the of the electron uh, the reaction center or reaction part and what's going on this is not dissolving in these solutions and that is called precipitation reaction i mean that something will be dissolved in the bottom of the container and that will be expressed as a sign arrow sign in the down source so that down source means that there is something, something precipitating and this is called the precipitation reaction. What you see in this case like sodium plus which is aqueous is added with chloride and this silver aqueous is, is reacting with nitrate. What is going on like sodium and chloride this silver sorry sodium nitrate it would be nitrate and silver chloride so we can say this is nitrate and this silver chloride is is precipitating that is precipitation reaction i'm just giving a single example you can may have more example also i'm just giving you the idea the precipitation is that will be settled in the bottom of the container and we can see something which is not dissolving with the solution that reaction is called 
precipitation reaction. So I hope you understand the neutralization reaction and precipitation reaction. I'm coming up with the next video regarding this topic. It's more important, tollen reagent, which is actually used in case of identification of aldehyde. And uh, this is something very cute and that I'm coming up with the next video uh, with the mostly 10 minutes videos and then uh, of course uh, do let me know your comments sections and what is your feedback do you really understand that I'll be so happy to have your feedback take care see you soon